to get the zebra swallowtail, which is a specialist on pawpaw. It's, I think it's our most beautiful swallowtail. Uh, and in doing that, we got the zebra swallowtail, but we also got the pawpaw sphinx. Our ecosystems depend um, not just in a minor way, but in a major way on a diversity of insects doing a diversity of things. And when we decrease the number of individuals and the number of species, we're, we're devastating ecosystem function. Why does that matter? Because it is ecosystems that support humans. I mean, we can, we can be selfish about this, but those life support systems that keep us alive, even if we live in a city, are produced by healthy ecosystems. And none of those ecosystems will run well without insects. Okay, this is a uh, catalpa sphinx moth right here. And you might wonder why there's a catalpa sphinx moth sitting on my oak tree. Um, because we don't have any catalpa right here. Um, so uh, insects get around and that helps them find new habitat, new, new host plants, um, which is good because... Uh, I'm counting the moth species that are, uh, that are resident on this property and I'm up to 861. Um, it probably will top out somewhere around a thousand when I when I finish. He's nervous because he doesn't blend into my hand. Uh, but this just shows you the the diversity of insects that um, that we have in this property and that will. The cardinal just landed up there, and it's in this tree to eat eat as many caterpillars as it can find.
a lot of homeowners are interested in doing this. How can I increase the, the ecological integrity of my, of my landscape? How can I get my landscape to contribute to local ecosystems instead of degrading them? That's growing interest. So this will have pollen or nectar for bees. On his legs, you can see all that orange stuff stuck to it. That's all the pollen from the plant he was on. All right. So this is, uh, this is swamp milkweed. And this is um, another plant that monarchs really like. And I'm going to look to see if I can find any cocoons or caterpillars hanging around. We're also seeing a lot of bees uh, coming back. Many, we've had over 70 different species that we've recorded on the roadsides now, and a couple new county records. What we don't want to do is create ecological traps where you're, you're drawing insects in and then they're all squashed by cars. 